Good morning and welcome to today's Finance Committee meeting. My name is Julissa Ferreras Copeland. I'm the chair of the committee. Today, the committee will be voting on three land use items. The first resolution would provide a full 40 year Article 11 tax exemption for the um, MHANY Pleasant. East Apartments and Speaker Melissa Marguerito's district in Manhattan. The exemption would preserve 111 units of low income rental housing. The speaker has expressed her support of this resolution. The second item concerns the Clinton Arms Apartments located in Council Member Torres's district in the Bronx. This resolution would provide a partial 40 year Article 5 tax exemption to preserve 87 units of low income rental housing. Council Member Torres supports this resolution. The final resolution would provide a partial 40-year Article 5 tax exemption for the Fulton apartment, the Fulton Park Apartments in Councilmember Cornegie's district in Brooklyn. The exemption would preserve 210 units of low-income rental housing. Uh, Councilmember Cornegie supports this resolution. Before we vote, I'd like to remind my colleagues that the fiscal 2018 executive budget hearings will conclude tomorrow. Councilmember Cornegie, would you like to add anything about your project? I would just like to say we are extremely happy to protect affordable housing in my district in any form. So thank you. Excellent. Um, and I'd like to express to the committee that tomorrow concludes the beginning, uh, concludes our executive budget hearings. Uh, and I want to thank you all. I know that many of you joined me for as long as you possibly could while we went through this season of um, budget hearings. Um, beginning at 10 a.m., the in the council chambers, the committee will hear from OMB, followed by the Comptroller and the Independent Budget Office. I ask that you, if you can, participate in the OMB portion, but, more, but also equally as important as the OMB portion is the public's portion. There's nothing more heart-wrenching than to be with the public and only have a few members. So if you can, and make it available in your schedule, I understand we're all very hectic this time of year. Um, that we are present for the public testimony, I would appreciate it. Um, uh, and that will begin, I'm going to try to get it at approximately one, as close to 1 p.m. as possible. Um, and if I provide you guys lunch, will you come? Maybe I'll provide lunch, yeah. <laughs> yes, so we will provide lunch. <laughs> um, unless any of my colleagues has a question on any of these items, I'll ask Billy Martin, the committee clerk, to call the roll. Does we have any questions on the three items of land use? No? Billy? Lee Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote committee on finance. Items are coupled. Chair Ferreris Copeland. I vote aye. Rodriguez. Van Bramer. Aye. Cornegie. Aye. Johnson. I vote aye. Levine. Aye. Matteo. Aye. By vote of seven in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions, all items have been adopted by the committee. We'll keep the roll open uh, until 11. 